Yeah, look, I was hitting him well in England in the nets. Just couldn't get a, couldn't get a run on the board. But um, look, for for me, it's about you know I I got a hunger and desire to score runs all the time. And you know I look back at that little phase there, and it was just a small hiccup. And as I said, I wasn't out of form. I was out of runs, and I'm really making the most of it at the moment. Um, my feet are moving well. Um, I'm getting my head over the, my front leg. Weight's going through the ball. Um, all those small things are actually coming coming into play. Um, and when you're when you're in that kind of sort of form and touch, and everything's going well for you, you've got to make sure that you're practicing the same. You're doing all the hard work. Um, and I, I think I look back at the beginning against Pakistan. I I trained a, a lot leading into that first Test match. Um, you know, JL, you know, noted to me that you know I've been batting for almost two hours every net session, um, which is unlike me. But I didn't play that shield game leading into it, and I felt like I needed to bat time. And I think it held me in real good stead for the summer. And those first two test matches there, as, as much as I you know, enjoy being out there and batting and scoring those runs, it was the training that I was actually enjoying a lot as well because I was batting a lot of time. Um, poor Sriram, our um, spin coach, was wanging to me every single day. And um, you know, I've I got to thank him for that because you know, a lot of time and effort goes into it. Um, and it's not by fluke that I'm coming out here and, and doing what I'm doing, but as a team, um, what we're doing is, is phenomenal. And I think we're just you know, riding this sort of wave of good form and clinical performances um, with bat and ball. Um, I feel it needs a little bit of work, but um, look, I think to, you know, tonight was a, was a great effort. Yeah, for us it was about coming over here and you know, trying to make our mark um, from where we left off in the World Cup. You know, we didn't play well in that World Cup semi-final. We all walked away, um, you know, thinking and what could have been, um, how could we have dressed that better, how could we have started better, and you know, we quickly forgot about that afterwards. And yeah, it's our first ODI um, this summer, uh, and it's away, but. For us, it's about trying to put clinical performances on every time we go out there, and I think we've got a great unit, got uh, you know a, a great bunch of guys together, and we feed off each other very well. We've got a great bowling unit, um, we've got pace, we've got spin, and our batting, we've got great depth, we've got power, and we've got um, you know sort of guys who work it around in the middle as well who can accelerate and uh, go when they need to as well. So I think at the moment we've got a great great stability, um, and it's good to see. Uh, David, was uh, shot making slightly easier in the second innings? Was what you make of the pitch and uh, your bowling performance? Was what picking? Was shot making easier? Oh, shot making, sorry. Um, no, well, I, I always think when you come to Wayne Caddy and you, you, you know, we had our first training session on the lights, it always swings and there's a little bit of, a bit, a little bit of seam movement. Um, and fortunately tonight, I think they over pitched quite a bit to, to Finchie uh, and he was able to get on the front stool and um, put them away and they're the days that, as a batsman, they're not going to the fielders and they're going in the gaps. And um, you know, one or two of those that go to fielders can you know put you a bit, in a bit back on confidence. But tonight was making the most of those over-pitched deliveries, and uh, we got off to a good start. And I think the the most pleasing thing for me at the other end was seeing Finchy um, transfer his weight into the ball very well. Um, he talks about not not doing that um, as consistent, but tonight was probably the best that I've ever seen him bat. Um, and on credit goes to him, the way that he played was fantastic. But, you know, as I said before, it was just great to have that winning partnership and, and be clinical there and none down. So, last year's World Cup, we were in combination now, it was probably one of the big teams. Um, next World Cup is in India in three years, long or four years long. How confident are you that you and Aaron will still be open to batting come then in India? I think we'll speak to our wives first. Um, we'll both be 36 or 37. I've got three kids. That's, um, hopefully that's the last one. Um, but anything can happen in that three years. You've got four wives, family. Um, 
take one step at a time. We'll look to, look to the next game in Radcott. Um, we actually spoke about this in the team meeting about not thinking too far ahead, but we've got a great bunch of guys here that potentially with our senior players can make that World Cup. So in looking, look, looking forward, I'd love to be there, but you know, there's a long road ahead. We've got to you know, obviously win games, perform as much as we can, keep our own form. Um, but yeah, look, if, if, if I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate that uh, I've got a good wife. <laughs> yeah, look, I haven't played many one-day games here in India and uh, I've missed a few tours and even the tour a long time ago, I, I didn't get selected. I was dropped in that, in that period and, um, you know, I... I love coming here, I love playing cricket, I love the fans, um, I love what India brings. Um, you always feel like it's, you're always welcomed here with open arms and you know, we've got so many resources here. You've got great net bowling, great staff, the venue staff, it's absolutely fantastic and the facilities are second to none. You know, it's very rare you get to go out in the middle and, and practice. Um, we're ever so grateful for that and you know, I think every single nation that comes here will say the same thing. Um, you know, we've got great um, a great game of the IPL, you know, a great tournament that's there. It allows us to go out and, you know, compete on Indian Indian wickets. And uh, you've got a lot of, net, as I said, a lot of net, baller, net bowlers and resources to get better in these conditions. I think every player is adapting to that. And um, the wickets are always great. And, you know, for, I'm just glad I'm a batsman and not a bowler. Welcome. You and Aaron are two of these top two of these yeah, look, we got, we complement each other on the field, but we're, we're great mates off the field, and I think we know each other's games so well and personalities that you know we can have honest conversations. When we're out there. Um, if we're playing shots that we wouldn't, we'd re reassure each other about that. Um, you know, we. It's just it's purely we complement each other. Um, you know, it's, it's just great to go out there and play the way that we do. Uh, you know, when he's going, I know what my role is. When I'm going, he knows what his role is, and we communicate that straight away. And I think that's the best thing about our partnership that works very well. And you know, it's 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 great. I, I absolutely love it. He loves it, and hopefully, you know, we can keep looking forward to that next World Cup. If I could just ask one follow-up question on why. Well, it is the kite festival today, I heard. So, um, yeah, it's, it's very bizarre. I got caught on the, the spider cam and I thought it was a little bit dangerous. Uh, and Boomer decided to come out and just snap it. And I said, that's some poor kid's kite. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's very bizarre. Very bizarre. Uh, did you score uh, preparation? How do you, how do you prepare for someone like Boomer and Kundi who are both sort of unorthodox in their action? It's about being nice and still. I can't, I can't imagine someone like Brett Lee running in from almost a boundary and just sort of staggering in, staggering in, and then all of a sudden 150 kilometres an hour. It's, it takes a while to get used to, and that's, you know, it's great skill from 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 Boomer. That's how he's always bowled as a as a kid growing up, and you've just got to watch real hard. Uh, he's got great change ups as well. So, I think for for if I'm to give any advice, and I take this as well, you've got to be nice and still. Um, you know, his, his bouncers surprise you, his Yorkers surprise you, and then when he bowls that change up, it's very, very difficult. And it's like when Lasseth Malinka at his, at his prime, you know, he bowled 140 kilometres and swung them in, but he knew you were going to get a Yorker or you knew you were going to get a bouncer, but it was how are you going to play that? And that's why they're so unique. And obviously, with Cool Deep, you know, he's got great change ups as well. Um, I find that he's bowling a fraction slower these days. Um, quite different to say a Rashid Khan, obviously, who bowls at 100 kilometres an hour, but um, at l under lights, I think left arm Chinamans are very difficult to, to pick. And now, so they look a little bit gentle when you walk in, and also the two blokes below you, Marnus and Steve, they whine about they didn't get one. How are they Stuff them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I actually just said before, I said Smudger tried to bump himself up the order to get a hit, and he still didn't. Um, We've got a bit of uh, you know sudo cream there for him to a bit of pad rash, but uh, yeah, look, I'm a little bit tight in the knees uh, from running between wickets this summer. It's been a been a long summer. It's been a 
entertaining one out in the field running between wickets. Um, and I said to Finch, it's been a long time since I cramped up and I was cramped up a little bit in the, in the calves. Um, first time I played a 50 over game as well and it's a little bit humid and obviously the training leading in, I think um, extra fluids for the next game if I'm going to spend every, every minute of the game out there. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks.